Hark now to the minstrel song, I'll sing to you a while. So gather round the TV set, and do not touch that dial. No, toucheth not that dial. Muppets Incorporated invites you to watch the pilot production of its new series, Tales of the Tinker D. I tell a tale of Tinker D, of legendary fame, and of its noble nutty king. Gosh Posh is his name. King Gosh Posh is his name. Look at here, minstrel. Your Majesty. I expect you to be at that birthday party tomorrow night singing up a storm. Yes, Your Highness. And I want to see you laughing and celebrating and having a good time. That's an order. The birthday that we celebrate by order of the king is that of his only daughter, a sweet and pure young thing. A sweet and pure young thing. May I present the lovely Princess Gwendolinda? Fair-haired beauty for whose love every knight in the kingdom would gladly risk his head. Charmed, I'm sure. I sincerely hope you'll see at my birthday party tomorrow, minstrel. It would be a pleasure, your loveliness. My goodness, yes, I should certainly think so. The invitations have been sent to everyone, poor or rich. The one person who didn't receive one was Tamanella Witch. Was Tamanella me, Tamanella Grinderpuff, witchiest witch of them all, and I haven't been invited to the ball. Isn't that a kick in the old cauldron? Oh, it's I'm glad you agree, Grunchy Baby. Oh. Uh, that's my Grunchin down there. I'd show him to you, but he's too horrible to look at. Uh, I'll describe him instead. Uh, let's see, he's, um, uh, yeah. He's too horrible to describe, too. Grunch. Anyhow, uh, let me see. Uh, here we go. Have some lunch, Grunch. Grunch. Oh, go ahead and eat it. You like kitchen chairs. Anyway, that's the last kitchen chair you're gonna have to eat. It's the last kitchen chair I've got. He ate all the others. Seventy-five of them. This morning. Hey, look, Grunchy. I'll bring you a piece of birthday cake tomorrow. How would you like that? Good. Yeah. Or I will if I can just get to that birthday party. Maybe my invitation got lost in the mail. I'll drop the king a note and ask him about it. Charlie! Charlie, come in here! Come in, Miss Tammy, ma'am. I'd like you to meet Charlie the Ogre. Yes, ma'am? Charlie, take a letter. All right, I'll take W. No, you idiot! Ouch. I mean, take a letter to the king. I've got to remind him to invite me to his daughter's birthday party. Birthday party? It's the biggest social event of the season. All the neighboring royalty come. And they bring presents. Scads of jewel-encrusted goodies. And that's where we come in. That's where we come in? And where we come in and heist the goodies, Charlie. Oh, goodie. But first, we've got to get an invitation. Can't we go without an invitation? Ouch. Where's your sense of etiquette, Charlie? Come on, let's start writing letters! Her evil scheme was underway, so letters she did write. But at the castle things were in a very hectic plight. A very hectic plight. The party's tomorrow night and nothing's ready. Now where's the royal maids to wax the ballroom floors? Where's the royal caterers with the royal food? And where's the royal decorators with the royal cotton pick and crate paper? Sire, sire, good news. The royal bakers have come with the birthday cake. Uh, just a second, I'll bring it in. Thank you, Prime Minister. And of Tinker D. I have a friend I'd like you to meet. Rufus, come on in, Ruf. Hello there, Daryl. How are hey, you? Hey, I found your magnifying glass oh, here. Oh, thank and, you uh, very much. Ooh, hello there. This is Rufus. He's a sheepdog. I am? Well, aren't you? I've never seen a sheep in my life. Well, you don't have to see sheep to be a sheepdog. Matter of fact, you know, I'm afraid of sheeps. You're afraid of what? I'm afraid of sheeps. No, no, you're not afraid of sheeps. You're afraid of sheep. Well, sure I am, because they're very unfriendly animals, sheeps are. No, sheep. Sheep are very unfriendly animals. You've noticed it, too. 
Are you afraid of sheeps too? Yeah. Uh, we're both afraid of sheeps. Mm -hmm. We're sort of sheepish, actually. <laughs> well, never mind that now, Rupert. Hey, have you introduced yourself to the audience here? Well, no, I haven't, as a matter this of fact. This is Daryl. He's the gatekeeper at Tinkerty, and he guards the gates, you know. You're the watchdog. That's right. And, and I, I help Daryl because we're friends, you know. We're friends. We're, we're fr friends. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rufus. We're friends. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for the magnifying glass, by yeah, the way. Hey, hey, what do you want it for? Well, King Goshposh is going to drop in in a few minutes, and he's asked me to fix his watch today. You're going to fix the king's watch? Well, I'm going to try. Wow. You know, Daryl fixes all kinds of things, you know, like, like doors and, and clocks and, and, and uh, locks and things like that. And I help him, you see, because we're friends, right? We're very good friends. Ruth, Ruth, listen, listen, listen. You want to help me today? Yeah, like, like what? Well, you can help me fix the king's watch. I can help you fix the king's watch? Right. What do you want me to do? Well, first of all, I'd like you to go down to the store and get some oil while I straighten up the bed here. I go down to the store for oil? What a dirty deal. I always have to do things like that, and, and you, you get to do things like fixing the king's watch. Well, what's the matter? Well, you always do the good job. Well, listen, that's a good job. Oil is very important. You, you yeah? just, you just can't, can't run a watch without oil. Yeah? And I'll tell you something else. What? I won't start repairing the watch until you get back. Really? really? You won't start repairing the watch until I get back. I won't. Right? I is won't. That a, is that a deal? That's a deal. We'll shake hands on All it. All right, we'll shake hands. Okay, on now it. I'm going to run to the store, and you're not going to start repairing the watch until I get back. I'm not going right? to do it. Hark now to the minstrel song. I'll sing to you a while. So gather round the TV set. And do not touch that dial, no toucheth not that dial.